from Famous, and I'm here with Sam Overton, who's the creative director of Silver Bullet. Now Sam's going to show us how to get a look inspired by old Hollywood glamour. The first step for this is we're going to put the product into the hair and again what we're going to do is put the product on dry hair so we get that real cosmetic feel to it and again it gives us that texture and it makes hair almost like a material so we can manipulate it and bend it into the shape that we want. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to be squirting a volume mousse all the way over it and the reason I'm using that is because it's got quite a strong kind of texture to it so when we blow dry the hair in it's just going to be really easy for me to manipulate the hair and hold that way all day and all night as well. So now what we're going to do is just go through, loosely section it up I'm going to use my high temperature brush again and I'm just going to smooth the hair out making sure that I'm flattening the cuticle and adding that shine that's going to give me a perfect basis for that 1930s glamour movement that we're going to put in there. All right, so the next step for this look is we're going to use some hairspray. The reason I'm spraying it with hairspray is two reasons. Number one, it's going to give it a slight heat protection. And number two, it's going to help as a setting agent. And then when it cools in the shape that we've set it, it's going to give more longevity to the style and hold it as well. So as you can see, I'm setting the hair vertically. I'm using Silver Bullet 25mm ceramic plated curling wand. I've also set the temperature to 180 degrees because that way I'm not going to be damaging the hair. Once I've taken the curling wand out, I just use a clip clip it from underneath and I just let the hair cool down like that. It's important that you clip the hair from underneath because then that way you're not going to get any dents or indentations from the clip anywhere else in the movement there. So now what I'm going to do is going to work my way back. Okay so we've set the hair and it's cooled off evenly all the way around so now what we're going to do is just pull these clips and then just let the movement naturally drop down at the moment. To break up the curl, will you be using a comb or your hands? I'm going to be using a comb. For the reason being, it's got to be a wide tooth comb. So as I'm combing it down like this, what I'm going to be doing is pulling out the curls and making it more into movement, but also breaking up the product that's in there. Now what we're doing is we're combing it, we're stretching out the movement, we're spraying it, and then it'll bounce back up and that'll set it into the shape that we want. Okay, just to finish off this look, I've just tucked it behind the ear just to give it a little bit of a different shape. And now what I'm going to do is just spray shine spray up into the air and just kind of directing it. So here we have the finished look. So by following the steps we've just taken you through, you'll easily be able to reproduce this vintage old Hollywood glamorous look. <laughs>